I was lucky enough to be invited along. As you well know, there are six work streams, and I was invited along to be a member of the communications work stream in Fife. Um, and that composed people from the third sector, people from NHS Fife, people from Fife Council, and as usual in support, the good old Scottish Health Council. And one of the things that we decided, Richard, will you, or do I just press a button and change it? Anyone? Oh, there you go. Um, one of the things we, we discussed at the communications work stream was how do we involve the public? And after much discussion, we decided that we would set up a public reference group and in fact establish that in 2012. How did we do that? Well, we actually were quite lucky in Fife. One of the things to remember is we're very fortunate we were co-terminus. And one of the things we did was we plugged into what was already there. So we had Public Partnership Forum Reference Group and the Register of Interest members that were NHS funded. We had the Local Authority funded Equalities Participation Network and we had jointly funded the People's Panel. So even in recruitment, we were truly integrated. We, with, um, at our first meeting, we had about 30 people came along and they were quite robust, if I may say so. And that was excellent. We've got it down to now there's about 20 to 15 members appear regularly. And we, we, as you can see, we established with them terms of reference. We agreed the dates and venues for the whole of 2013. We meet every quarter. And the chair and vice chair were elected from members of the group. And you're going to see a bit of them later at the end of this presentation. The first meeting was held on the 28th of November, 2012. And yes, there was snow in Fife. And here's the bit I love best of all, and it was, follows on from a wee discussion I've had with other people. The chair and pub of the public reference group are invited to attend the Shadow Integrated Health and Social Care Partnership Board meetings. Yahoo! That was, I think, great. One of the things we did do, and you can see it there, we one of the things, it was very interesting that one of the ladies that heads us up, Val Miller, with the local authority, she's got a great title. She is a communications and marketing manager for NHS Fife. Wow. And my background is marketing, so I loved all this. So the first thing we did was established a brand. The first time ever we've got a joint intranet site between NHS Fife and Fife Council. Um, we've got a staff guide to integration published. We developed and published it and public materials being developed, including web pages. Um, one of the things I would like to mention is the aims were to develop a two-way dialogue for views gathered from personal experience of local networks, assure the account is taken of community, patient, and public involvement, provide a forum for the development and management of related information. That's very important, because whatever we send out to the public, the public reference group kind of vet it for us and advise and assist in the development of communication materials. And that's a, an example. And we've got lots of um, posters and, and newsletters going out to the public. And if I may now, this could be tricky, Richard. I'm going to show you little three, two, three little video clips that kind of sum up the whole thing for me. The public reference group is looking at the communication strategies um, for this to take place so that we will roll out this program to everybody and we will certainly listen carefully to everybody and feed back some of these comments to the program board. So the people involved in this are the Fife Elderly Forum, the carers groups, the Scottish Health Council and a wide cross section of the voluntary sector, all of whom have an opportunity to participate and contribute to the change process that's going to happen. We are really pleased um, to be part of this group and we are going to uh, be, if you like, to some extent, the voice of the people in terms of um, looking at all of the issues that affect us across the older persons and other people's community in terms of service delivery for both health and social care in Fife. 
We're really looking forward to this. It's another exciting opportunity to improve and increase service delivery for people, not only when they're in a hospital or a care home, but also at home. Public reference group, I think, is somewhat important in getting the message across to the public about the social care or the health and social care integration. At the moment, what we're looking at is preparing materials and supporting the comms team in getting information, the right information out to the right people. Uh, the reference group has quite a wide range of the public, uh, which hopefully will cover most people across Fife. My background is in health. I have spent something like 37 years in the NHS. Uh, I'm an occupational therapist to trade, so I've had a lot of experience working with hospitals, community, working in conjunction with our social work colleagues. So over the time, I've been very aware of the need for integration. I think for the people in Fife, it means that they'll get a much tidier service, a more responsive service, something that does what they need, and hopefully they do at once. It looks as if people will be working properly for the individual, not coming from their own background. And I can see a great benefit with that. Mel was diagnosed in 1985 and he was referred to a neurologist. And the pattern at that time was you saw a neurologist every six months if you were lucky, sometimes it was a year. But that was it. The neurologist prescribed medication, you took the tablets, and you saw nobody else in between. There were no Parkinson's disease nurse specialists, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, speech and language therapy. Never even appeared in the equation at that time. Mel went into hospital for strangulated hernia. Uh, and he was admitted as an emergency and discharged two days after the surgery. And Mel Parkinson's after the surgery was really, really severe. He just could not move. It was hard work for me physically. I was just a bit in tears. I just couldn't cope. And the nurse specialist, the Parkinson's nurse specialist, contacted Adamson Hospital. And the team leader there, the integrated team, is John Robertson. And he came to see us on a Friday afternoon and they said, oh, you definitely need some help. But I would be know about this. We knew that you got carers, you know. Uh, I'll make sure you've got somebody. Somebody came that night. And at first we were strange to this system. We, we thought, this is carers, that they're going to help me with showers, etc. Is that right? Yeah. And that's that's all we thought it was. But then when we started to talk to him and we looked at the paperwork, we realised this was a team of people. It wasn't carers, it was a team. It was an integrated team. In the team there's an occupational therapist, there's a physiotherapist, there's a nurse, there's rehab carers, and they actually work together. We were a wee bit dubious to start with, how can this happen? We had access to a team immediately. The nurse came to dress Mel's toe. No problem, they worked together. The communication, each carer in that team that was in here every day, if they saw a problem, they would either discuss it with us or refer to a person in the team that could help. And they worked together. The, the carers we have picked up from them are employed by the social work department and the rest of the team are NHS Fife. And the communication between them, the atmosphere, the work they do together is just marvellous. So there you have it. That's um, just to say that the involving the public is alive and well and living in Perth in terms of adult health and social care integration. Thanks very much. Thanks. Thanks.